Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we will be learning about how to create a simple text animation in Adobe Animate CC software. You can also apply the same principle in Adobe Flash. As you can see, this particular place, the white color background is called as a stage where we are going to perform whatever animations we need. In order to change the stage color towards the right side, you can see color option under the properties icon. Here you can change whatever the stage color as you wish to be and also this will act as a background. So here I am going to rename my layer 1 as background. And now let me create a new layer. So this new layer is going to act as my text. I am going to create a normal text under this. Towards the left side I have my text tool. And I'm just going to type the word Viscom. Whatever words you want, you can choose accordingly. As of now, I'm typing the word Viscom. And in order to change the text font, color, size and dimension, you can highlight the text like this. And towards the right side, under properties, you will have all those sub options under character. So now we are done with the text. I'm bringing it towards the center. And now... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to give Ctrl B as a shortcut in order to break each and every alphabet separately. I'm going to split each and every alphabet separately. So the shortcut is going to be Ctrl B. This is how your alphabets will be separated as soon as you give the shortcut Ctrl B. Immediately go to the option called Modify. And under modify you have the option called timeline and under timeline you have to give the option called distribute to layers. So here in the timeline you can immediately see that each and every alphabet has been separated into different layers. As in the Viscom, the whole entire letter will be separated into each and every layer for us to animate it easily. Now click on to each and every alphabet separately and go for modify. Convert to symbol shortcut will be F8 and make sure it is in movie clip and just give an OK. Let me click on to I, modify, convert to symbol, movie clip and then OK. So do repeat the same process for entire word or entire alphabet which you have breaked apart. As you can see I am repeating the same process till M. I'm highlighting the word and I'm going for the option modify under modify. I'm just going for the option called convert to symbol and making sure that it is under movie clip. As the type it should be movie clip. Here you can see the word call type. Make sure it is in movie clip and give an OK. So now we are done with the movie clip option. Leave out the background and highlight from V to M by holding shift and right click and go for insert keyframe. So now at the beginning I am just going to highlight the starting zero layer in the timeline with the help of shift and I am clicking the alphabet and towards the properties right side you will have an option called color effect. Under color effect I am going for the option called alpha which is nothing but in order to make your letter visible and invisible, this particular alpha animation will work. So I am reducing my alpha value to 3 so that I am making the entire word to be invisible. And I am coming for the timeline 5. So in between, we are going to apply this option called create motion twin. So 0 to 5 is done. I am coming for 10. Right click with shift and insert keyframe. And now as you can see at 0 it will be invisible, at 5 it will be visible. At 10 I am going to apply another animation. So I am highlighting everything by holding shift button in my keyboard. Now click the alphabet again and towards the right side you have another animation option called filter. Under filter we have many options called drop shadow, blur and everything. So the first thing I am applying here will be drop shadow. As for the shadow color you can go for whatever colors you want. I am going for light gray. And also I am just going to apply another filter bevel. Which will give you some enhanced or enhanced 
highlighted thing into this particular animation and even for the bevel colors you can go for whichever colors you want in highlight and the third one will be glow as for glow color i'm going for white maybe you can also change it to whatever color it will be suitable here so as for uh, the major understanding i'm going for green color and here you can see the strength of the glow where i'm just going to increase the strength a bit and i'm highlighting the inside with the shift and i'm going to give the option called create motion tween so 0 was done 5 is done and 10 is done let me go for 15 with shift i am highlighting it right click and i am going for the option called insert keyframe and now i am going for free transform tool towards my left side i am and here as you can see i am just going to expand the alphabet towards a bit by holding shift in order to resize each and everything with same dimension size length and shape So let me highlight the in between with shift right click and I'm going for create motion tween. So we are done with the entire part. At 20 what I'm going to do with is I'm just going to highlight 10 to 15 layer in the timeline and I'm just going to drag it towards the outer part of 15. So I'm going to repeat it from I to M. As you can see I'm highlighting from 10 to 15 and i'm bringing it towards the corner so i'm just shaping it towards the corner like this where each and every alphabet will be in the beginning layer of the other alphabet or the previous alphabet and now as for the last empty part i am highlighting everything with shift i am excluding the background in each and everything right click and i'm going for insert keyframe so now as you can see this is how your animation will work control enter for the final thing so this is how you can create a simple text animation under adobe animate software so in this blog we were covering about color effect alpha filters glow bevel and drop shadow and also about the text animation with movie clip and motion tween So now we have come to end of today's vlog. In the upcoming vlogs, I will be teaching you about how to use Adobe Animate in a professional manner with all kind of sub animation option and all kind of other effects too. Hope you people found it interesting and educative too. If so, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet you in a next interesting vlog with the same software. Until then, take care.